Hey everybody, I'm just doing an update video. I know I haven't put a video on my channel in a while, and uh, figured I'd do that. So, what's been going on in the life of me? I'm 32 weeks pregnant now, tired all the time. Found out I have gestational diabetes and a bunch of other crap. Um, drama with the father of my baby. Um, he got another girl pregnant, so we're both pregnant at the same time now. Woo! Good job. Um, <clears throat> and a bunch of other random stuff. So, as far as like my hair goes, it's been being neglected because that's what I do. When I'm stressed out, I don't do my hair like I should, so I haven't been. I did make another batch of, uh, where'd it go? I must have set it down. I made another batch of Shea Whip. Made a video for it and everything. I just haven't put it up yet. And I also, um... Still been working, and yeah, just trying to deal with everything that's been going on in my life. I have made a couple videos since the last one, and that was made. That was uh, they weren't on my channel though. I joined a collaboration channel, which is really cool, I think, and um, so I have two videos on there. An introductory video and another one. I sound out of breath right now because I am because my stomach is so big. Here I'll show you. My stomach is so big that it's just hard to breathe at this point. So, yeah, baby. Um, yeah, there's that. I have classic symptoms of pregnancy brain. <laughs> I forget everything all the time. Where's my cell phone? It'll be in my hand. Um, forget to take my contacts out. Well, I'm not real good at that anyway, but even worse than normal. And, uh... And I was trying to, trying to keep everything together, get my baby shower going, work. <gasps> oh, tiredness. But overall, it's been pretty good, you know? It's been pretty good. Just stay, I'm still trying to work on this gestational diabetes thing, because I'm not real good at eating on a schedule anymore. And... There's specific things you should and shouldn't eat at certain times of day, and they got me taking Glyburide and a bunch of other crap. I wish I had something more interesting to say, but this is why I end up not making videos, because I don't feel like what I have to say anybody wants to hear. And since I'm not doing anything special with my hair, I mean, I don't even... <laughs> it's bad, but I don't even remember the last time I actually combed my hair out. I've just been putting it back and putting it back. I got some twists in my hair last month. And this chick, this lady, who does this, right? Okay, who does this? So this lady, she twists my hair. It's my hair, no weave in it, whatever. And she knots the ends like it's micro braids. My real hair. Who does that? And she, I told her I want a medium sized twist, you know, like twist maybe, maybe, you know, like, like that, that big of a square, you know, not too big, not too small, medium. She ends up making these suckers like that, like extra tiny squares. She said it looked better. Yeah, it did look okay, but she I didn't know she nodded the ends because I wasn't expecting that and I wasn't in front of a mirror watching her do it because it's such a ghetto situation. Not ghetto, but it's such an off situation here in Tucson trying to find somebody to do natural hair that um, 
I, I got my hair done at her house. And sitting there in her living room. You know. So that's why I didn't have a mirror. And it was way too, it cost too much. Like, I don't think I'm going to go again. I keep saying that. I'm not going to go get my hair done again. I'm just going to always do my own hair. But I get tired of doing my own hair. You know? I just want somebody else to do it every once in a while. And then not cost an arm and a leg and an eye. But, yeah, not at the end. So, I, and I ended up trimming my hair because I couldn't get those knots out. So, I had to cut it all the ends but I think I probably need to trim my hair some more aside from that um I guess did I already talk about the baby father drama there's two babies one guy two females oh and this chick she wants to be friends with me I think it's so weird cause she's crazy she's nuts she's a liar when he finally told me about it, he, um, you know, oh, it was unplanned, blah, blah, you yeah, right, she was planning it. Way back in April, during one of the times that they were broken up, he told me that she was crazy, she was, she found out I was pregnant, so now she wanted to get pregnant, and then all these months later, he would be like, oh, it was unplanned, unplanned my butt. She been planning it all along, told you about it to your face, you just chose to ignore that crap. He's so smart. I made a bad decision, I know. And a lot of people are like, well, you thought you couldn't get pregnant if you was still, you know, had some condoms or something. I mean, who doesn't believe the ultrasounds, two doctors' opinions, not just one, but two, first opinion, second opinion. I mean, I just, I made a bad decision. I knew he wasn't diseased, you know. So, I mean... I don't know, dumb on my part, and I didn't really know the guy all that well. I mean, it's one of those people, you know, you see, you have mutual friends, they'll go to the same parties or same hangouts or whatever, and so you know him, but you don't know him, know him. It was one of those things. We had an arrangement. The arrangement ended. A couple months after the arrangement, I found I was pregnant. I don't sleep with more than one person at the same time, so it's easy to know who her, who her father is. And it's just, it's just turned into a big old mess. But in the middle of all that, you know, I'm happy my little honey is going to be here. I've got her name narrowed down to the top three names. And, um, that's, that's awesome. I decided to stop telling people what I was thinking about naming her. Just because so many people have opinions. Like, if you've never been pregnant, you, you probably don't understand, like, the dumb, dumb questions that, that you get when you're pregnant. You know, what's the baby doing? I don't know. She's in, in there. And, uh, drawing a picture. I mean, finger painting. I don't know. Well, what position is she in? I don't know. It's not like you get a, an automatic, like, clock or something. You could just, you could just touch your stomach. And then, do you know where your poop is? When your food's digesting? You know what I mean? Can you feel that? Like, yeah. You can feel a baby more than you can your intestines, but at the same time, unless you can see an actual foot sticking out, which I can't, I can't tell unless she hiccups. And if the hiccups are lower, then I know she's probably facing down. Or if they're on the side, I know she's probably facing that way. But if she's not hiccuping at that very exact moment, I don't know. Or when's your due date, and then you tell them, tell somebody, and then... You know, they're like, oh my gosh, you're so big. You're so big, blah, 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 blah. You're not going to make it. You're going to pop. It's like, shut up. Stop. Hey, you feel like you're calling me fat, even though I know I'm not. I'm pregnant. There's a difference. And, ugh, I just go, I can go on and on about it because it's just some of the weird, crazy, strange questions. Do you have any cravings? I crave food. I need food for my body. <laughs> I need food. Um, what's another one? This is a weird question that people ask when you're pregnant. Oh, or people just randomly trying to touch your belly. Or, you know, other stuff. It's just, it's it's wild, man. It's wild. And especially since my baby is going to be mixed. 
people ask like the weirdest racist ass questions to me that I can I wouldn't even I would have never thought to ask somebody those kind of questions you know like oh well do you want her to have white hair and I'm like what's that do I want her to have white hair are you talking about the color or are you talking about like to not have an afro well you know non kinky and I'm like no I don't know you just stop talking to me right now why would I even I like I I don't know. It's just well, let it be more manageable. Stop, just stop. You know what I mean? Like I don't. I want her to come out fine and healthy. I don't care what texture her hair is. It's not a top priority. You know? Or do you want her to be lighter or darker? I hadn't thought about it, but now that you say it, it don't matter. But I don't know. It's just it's so. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. And then I see, when I do finally start thinking about it, I was like, why would I want my baby to be white? You know? People act like... People... People act like it's just... I think, I think everybody wants their kids to look like them a little bit. You know? Have my lips, my nose, my eyes, something... And so, I personally like being brown. I know a lot of people have issues with that, but I don't. So, being brown is good to me. You know, sunburn. It's great. But, I don't know. It's just, it's all over the place. It's all over the place. Hmm. Totally forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Again. Again. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, oh, and there's all sorts of gross things about being pregnant nobody tells you. Mucus plugs, leaking boobs, whatever. It's all sorts of gross stuff no one tells people about. I didn't know about it. Shoot, and I'm old enough to. I have a midlife crisis almost. So, so much stuff. So much stuff I'm learning and finding out about round ligament pain. It's, it's dumb. Braxton Hicks. I knew I heard about him. I didn't realize, you know, what was really going on with him. Sleeping, body pillows, all the new technology. Did you know there's a mat that you can get that you set underneath your baby? And if they stop breathing, it'll go off and warn you that they've stopped breathing and all this other stuff. It's super high tech. Super duper high tech stuff. Um, baby monitors with screens and the Wi Fi and MP3 players and crap in them. I got most everything that I need, though. Most everything. <gasps> oh, sorry tired. That is my main pregnancy system. Symptom. Tired. I didn't have morning sickness. I didn't have like the leg cramps people talk about. I did get hypersalivation. Yeah, when you get pregnant, you can get a watery, drooly mouth. For who knows what reason. It can't be explained. But that is just a random pregnancy symptom that you can have. And, um, I got that. It was gross. I had to, like, chew gum or walk around with a spit cup or something. Ugh, I'm uncomfortable. I'm trying to, ugh, straighten my leg out. Ugh. Okay. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a, just a mess. Let's see if I can, uh, no, that didn't help anything. Um, yeah, it's a trip. It's a trip. But, in other news, went to a first family reunion. It was fun. Went to... <gasps> went to, uh, got back in touch with some of my cousins that I haven't seen since, like, ninth, forever, forever. Like, they were four and I was, like, seven. It's been a while. And, uh, yeah, 
pretty much working, getting myself ready to be a single mama and trying to do the best I can with everything. Keep keeping myself up. I mean, I do stress out about some things, you know, but it's better. <laughs> I just hold myself up, hold myself up in my room until I get it worked out in a lot of cases and yeah most of my friends fled when I got pregnant I don't think they mean to it's just you, what do you do now you can't hang out you can't well you can't hang out but since I was living the single life and partying it up after being uh after divorce and all that things that I was doing and the friends that I had doing those things don't apply, not really don't apply, but the ones that were there for that reason are no longer around because I don't drink, blah, 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 anymore, so what are we going to do together that they want to do, you know, deal with that, <sighs> and, um, yeah, I'm working it out. Started my bentos up again. Made a few videos about that. Have not posted them. I keep me. I'm gonna have to do like I did like like six months ago and just repost a bunch of these random videos. Not repost, but post these videos that I've been making. So, um, yeah, I think I'll try to do that today. And well. I'll try to do that tomorrow, because today I have an appointment at 6, yeah, it's Sunday, but it's not a real appointment. Me and my friends are going to hang out, catch up, we haven't spoken in a while, so, yeah. I guess I will uh, talk to you guys later. If you sat through all this, you are amazing, because I know I ramble and ramble. On and on and on, yawning through half the video. I probably have made some of y'all yawn. Y'all yawn yet? <laughs> no, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, I hope everybody's been doing well, and I will talk to you all later. And I'm probably gonna, um, See? Pregnancy brain. I don't even know what I was saying. What was I saying before? No idea. Bye, y'all.